of a week here in Copenhagen. And we turn our attentions to another women's singles, another home favourite and another higher seed or higher ranked player in uh, Lena Kersfeldt of Denmark. So she'll have that home crowd on her side as well. She's up against the Canadian Zhang Wenyu. Well, just that one spot to fill in this particular section of the women's singles draw with Yeo Jiamin and Gregoria Tungjung already through. Han Yue from China had a bye, the number nine seed. And she awaits the winner of this next match. Well, there is Zhang Wenyu of Canada, the 21-year-old making her way down the steps. And you've got to be careful walking down those steps. I wouldn't want to be too nervous. Lena Kersfeldt coming through the floor. What an entrance way that is this week. Terrific occasion for all these players. Well, Lena looking reasonably relaxed. Wonderful to be playing in front of her home crowd at the World Championships. Okay. Okay. So which do you like, black or red? Umpire with the coin toss. See you red, okay? And that head-to-head -head reads 2-1. However, there was a retirement in their last meeting at the very early stages. Previous meeting was the Irish Open in 2021, which was a bit more comprehensive. Well, the change of ends with the uh, coin toss. These big arenas providing some drift, and it appears that's part of the game plan. The first meeting they had was way back in 2020, where uh, when Yu Zhang here came through in a third game. So it is an interesting matchup, this one. 20-year-old from Yunnan in China originally moved and competing for Canada. Not far from her career high in the rankings at 48 currently. Not too long ago at 45 in the world. And she's getting towards the latter stages of her career. I hope she wouldn't mind me saying. We'll find out more from uh, my co-commentator in a minute on that one, but 29-year-old uh, Lena Kersfeldt. Never quite pushed the top 10 in the rankings. 16, her highest, from Aarhus in Denmark. Quarter-final at the European Games recently. Lost out in a third set to Kirsty Gilmore. Lost out to Carolina Marin in uh, the Orléans Masters in the semi-finals. That's E.G. Nonaguchi back on court. 
This time our chair umpire. And Arthur Zaluznoy from Estonia. Our service Ready judge. To play. few final exchanges with um, Rune Ulsang, the women's singles coach for Denmark. Busy day for the Danes. Calm looking when you Zhang taking her time. Now she's getting fired up. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Wen Yu Chan, Canada. And on my left, Dine Feyerman, Kiasfeld, Denmark. Dine Feyermark, Kiesfeld to serve. Love all, play. Linda Kiesfeld, the home crowd favorite with the opening serve. Service over, one, love. A traditional nervy start. First match out in the World Championships. A big occasion, and um, I'm honoured to have Steen Pedersen, former Start national forward. coach here of Denmark, One, sat next to four. me, Steen. It's, um, it's been a big day for Denmark. And yeah, the, the, the players have obviously been uh, looking forward to, um, to play the World Championship on home soil. For, for some of the players, uh, they might be their, their only chance to play a, a World Championship on, on home soil. We saw it earlier on the day with the mixed doubles, um, Turi and uh, Malon, where Turi, who uh, was injured um, before uh, the championship started and, and was worried that he couldn't play at all, but he was, he was really um, was basically in tears in the interview after the match uh, because he looked so much forward to it. Um, Three. I think Kiesfeld yes, right, um, has looked forward to this as well. I met her just um, in the hallways um, when I arrived here at the stadium, and she said she was uh, feeling uh, good. She's had a good uh, practice period and was looking forward to uh, to play. Four, one. Well, that's um, terrific news for Danish fans. And following Lena Christofferson's uh, lead, as she came through moments ago against a lower ranked Ines Five, Castello. One. I would hope that um, you'd put Lena at favourite for this one, Steen, but the head to heads got a few talking points. Yeah, she lost in uh, the first encounter in. Uh, in Aarhus uh, at the uh, Super Cup three years ago. So, um, well, when you junk and say she's never lost to Kersfeld in Denmark. Um, <laughs> and then she got a revenge. So I, I think, um, I think Lina is uh, focused and, and I think she's probably better at her movement. But, but the question is, uh, how does the, the hall really play today? If it's slower than yesterday, then, um, the uh, the match might be um, quite close because um, she's not a bad player. When you jump, we've seen that. Well, it's Kersfeld with a better start. Three. 
6-3 on the score. Both players measured and taking their time. We going wide. Sightless drift left to right here in uh, the Seven, arena. Three. And would the Danes get a chance, Dean, to uh, train here for a, a period before this event starts? No, not not um, more than uh, the other nations. Eight. Right. That's um, a strictly regulated uh, by the referee. We saw some years ago in in. Uh, in some situations, the um, the um, home country could uh, perhaps um, have a little bit of an advantage, but I guess you could say the Danes would as well, but that would mean they would have to rent the full arena and set up um, the courts and the lighting and so on um, three weeks before or something like that. I think the arena was and ready the to curtains play. curtains and close the doors yeah. in the right way. Yeah, uh, so that, that's why we have the referees, to ensure that it's... Um, a fair battlefield for all participants. Did that touch the racket of Zhang? Yeah, I think so. Three. Might it's have a been going really, on. really good start for, for Lina Kersfeld, and it seems like Zhang has got trouble sort of uh, getting used to the uh, conditions here. That's a beauty. Five over. Four. Ten. With that, taking it high, having all kinds of options and making Kersfeld stop in the middle of the court. So, guiding it cross court is an easy winner. It looks like an easy winner. It's not an easy shot. Just came up short. Seven, and that miss takes us into the mid-game interval with Kersfeld. Starting the better and a seven-point lead at the break. Keep it this much in. Keep that pace up, but keep the keeping more into the lines to get some more confidence and moving around. All the fun works from in here. The other part is like sometimes you really too much. Sometimes you I'm like, you try to hit it too low. I'm mean, like, just try to make it too low. And then like, add a button. You try to hold it all the time. Close, close, drop, drop. Close, 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 drop. Play. It was an interesting uh, chat during the break there, Steen, that two pronged attack. <laughs> The uh, coaching staff. You take anything from that? Well, um, I I think I heard um, one of the coaches say that um, not always to to sort of hold 13. the shot uh, and, oh. and try and make a deception. Um, sometimes just play the faster shot, and I, I totally agree. And there's no doubt that deceptions would work well against Casford. But if you do it all the time, you, you, you can fall into the trap when you're simply playing too slow. So deceptions only work when you sometimes do something different. 14, four. Which means taking it early, playing it early. Wait, one. Well, she's struggling with that width and with that uh, left to right drift. Four. And 
and now the goal for Jang is, of course, to sort of get a feeling for the court, um, get some confidence, and for Kersfeld, it would be to even increase the pace and see if she can close this um, first game down uh, with uh, only one cipher on the uh, scoring board for her opponents, not to give her any confidence, because uh, that could be crucial in the second game that uh, whether when he junk gets a little bit uh, of belief back. Yeah, it's strange how a single figure result can play on your mind, isn't it? Yeah. We say it a lot. Oh, this player got beat to single figures by such and such. Yeah. It's, um, Nice shot, but good defence from Kersfeld. 17-5. Yeah, she's doing well. It's not, not uh, giving Jang any uh, time to settle in. Ready to attack immediately. over six seventeen oh, yeah, that's a good clear terrific rally from Lena Kersfeldt Over eighteen six. Oh. Great play. Jack, there. Seven, eighteen. Yeah, she sets up her own point. Nice. Yeah, I think she had a chance of actually attacking with a smash there. Uh, I would believe that the Canadian strategy was to make the court big for Kersfeld, but. Once in a while, when you have the chance, you've got to fire a smash to sort of keep your opponent uh, Eight. honest Eight. so that uh, she doesn't move towards the front court for the drop shots too early. And that's a similar thought process to the um, deceptive holds Nine. that the yeah. coaches are talking yeah. about. Eight. You've got to play them early and... Yeah. Fast to then make the deceptions more deceptive. And again, you can see the frustration of on Zhang's reaction there. Nineteen. The straight lift defense out wide. And look how much drift on that shuttle. That moved about twelve inches. or 30 centimetres for our uh, metric listeners. <laughs> well, Lena Kersfeldt with a ton of game points in hand. It's over. 10, 20. Not this time, says Wen Yu Zhang. Ah! 
Terrific from Kersfeld. Straight smash winner. A solid performance so far. Yeah, she was looking for the cross lift. It came. Alina pounced early. Just 13 minutes, 21 10. And then, and then we don't have to go for life. Like I think we'd be like six, seven, eight points out, outside, right back, more out the side. Just, like, just, like, where we're going to hit is good. So we're just going to be like, rally, don't get down. But it because we're at the bottom. Yeah. Ja, Court one, twenty seconds. Court one, twenty seconds. Second game, Lavo play. Lena Kersfeld back on serve, restarting the second game. One, love. Perfect. Even used the drift to her advantage there. That's going way wide. Well, that's exactly what the coaches suggested not to do. For Wen Yu Zhang. Bring it in, I heard them saying. Rune Ulsang must have been pretty happy, Steen. Yeah, I think he was. We, we got in uh, a little bit late there, uh, which I think is actually OK. I think it's always more interesting to hear what um, what um, the uh, player or pair that's behind what, what their plans are. But um, yeah, he was very satisfied with the uh, flat lift to the uh, backhand side of... Um, oh, there's a challenge. And they discussed that it would be more difficult now in this game here because um, of the sideways drift. So here he is, Rune Ulsing in white. And Jesper Hoko. Oh, caught the back line. Yeah. Just a fraction. That's enough. <laughs> Some confusion here about the result of the challenge. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, the challenge was unsuccessful. Challenge unsuccessful. Yes. One challenge remaining. Two all. Play. So it's Kersfeld. That's uh, one challenge down. Immediately hits back with that slice winner. Service over. Three, two.
five, two. I'd like to see uh, Wen Yu Zhang play with a little bit more intensity. It's a, uh, it's something of a free hit for her here. I feel. Yeah, but and she's she, not playing with that much confidence. No, and, and she's exactly low on confidence, and that's why it was important that Kiasfo mm. closed the first game out so convincingly. I mean, whether it's ten or nine or eight. It doesn't really matter. It was the, the fashion that, that she wanted in. It was more like one hit wonders from Wenny Chang when she scored points. It wasn't like some strategy that was starting to work. And now she has to redo it all because now she's playing with the drift. As you can see here. So playing the back line of Kersfeld is, is getting more difficult. And basically you'd say Kersfeld with, with the um, excellent technical skills and uh, perhaps the weaker side in terms of the movement. The more drift there is in the stadiums, um, the more Kiasfeld moves up in the sort of virtual rankings. Uh, and the slower the conditions are, the more she moves down. So Three, if I was... Um, That's a really interesting point, that. I like that. If I was fielding a Danish team, that would be my consideration. The Kiasfeld plays much, much better in windy conditions where sort of the court gets smaller. Uh, so and her physicality becomes more important. Yes. Interesting. Good oh. reception. Lovely shot. Time's over. Eight, three. Funny how drift can even affect a Sounds net shot or a push sometimes. Four, eight. Look at that. Uh, might not have been too much <laughs> due to the drift, I don't think. I'm not sure it started in. That's it. I think she's attacking Nine, too little. Four. Then you jank. That is way wide. Ten. And this is exactly what Kersfeld and uh, the coaches, the Danish coaches, dreamt of. Just uh, getting off to a quick start to the second game as well. That's just playing fast. Well, it's 11-4 again. I think it's a mirror image of the mid-game score to the opening game. Terrific for Kersfeldt. And then when you push it to the back, oh, there's one leg. Yeah, Cold one, 20 seconds. Cold one, 20 seconds. Okay, thank you. Coach? Did they just say focus on the four corners? Uh, I think it's very difficult to, to hear exactly what it is, but th there was something about um, uh, making sure when she's playing the round the head shots that, that she has to sort of uh, play it a little bit safer, turn it a little bit in towards the, um, the court instead of just hitting a normal shot because there's a good chance they will drift wide. And here she demonstrates it for us. Um, <laughs> good timing. Four. Can you train yourself to expect the shuttle six inches to the left and move there early, or is yeah. it... Wow. 13, mm. four. And, I mean, 
That, 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 that's why they're pros. <laughs> and, and if you recall back when, when you saw Li Chung Wei and Lin Dan play in the finals of windy stadiums, you wouldn't really notice that there was any drift because they had adapted to it. And it would be. Five is over. I thought about Five. it yesterday when we were talking 15. about drift. It would be really great to have, like, um, uh, <laughs> recreational know. players, fans trying it out before the finals with the conditions, getting a hit in the uh, stadium and, and experiencing how severe it is. I can tell you, it's, it's not easy. I've had a hit on the uh, center court at All England a few times. And. My first year, it was uh, an air shot. I missed the shuttle yeah, completely. Yeah. And there's no uh, sideways drift in all England, no. normally. No. Horrible. Sideways drift is, is the really challenging one. Well, Wen Yu Zhang really struggling with these conditions today. Not just the occasion and the home crowd on the side of Kersfeld, but the big arena. Providing its own contest. Yeah, and it's, and it's not like it's not like this arena is super windy. I think actually it's it's um, some of the better playing conditions for for World Championships. Um, Japan last year was also really really good. Huelva was extremely slow, um, but here there, there's some drift. But there will be in in, a, in an arena of this size here. We're just not used to it in Denmark. She's holding her left hip at times. Yeah. I thought when she started the match, she looked to be warming up quite slowly and taking a lot of time. I'm not sure she's fully fit here. Oh, when you Zhang, obviously, I'm talking about Lena's looking uh, fantastic. Yeah, I thought she can so have a too. cold spray. She thinks she's hurt her back. Yeah, you saw her holding the lower hip, uh, the lower back, and the hip. Yeah, a couple of times. Conferring with um, Mike Potlock. There's really not much to think about, in my opinion. We might see a retirement here, Steen. Yeah. Uh, it would make sense um, because, I mean, the, the chance of coming back a game and 10 points down here looks very slim, and especially if you're, if you're injured. And I know it's a World Championships, but um, the bigger picture is there's no point risking a... Oh, she's getting some cold spray yeah. applied to her back now. Yeah, risking a longer-term injury, that's not a good sign. Oh, she's... Oh. Well, Lena's got to uh, keep her composure here, not let this affect her game. But, but it was interesting that she said she's hurt her back. It was not something that she had when coming on to court. That's probably not what you want to do if you have Seven, an injured opponent. 16. Just play the sharpest shot you've got in the uh, arsenal the next time. Oh, she's struggling. Yeah. Jank. And when she walks between the points, she's bending forwards. Nice shot. Used the drift well there. Time's over. 17. 7. Yeah, look how slow she is to move. Oh. 
18, 7. Yeah, she's leaning forward. She's sort of hunched over slightly, trying to protect that. The uh, muscle spasms kick in, and the body is saying, I don't want any more of this. A pity for Zhang, her World Championship campaign ending like this in the first round. Sabi Sober, 8-19. Well, we're nearing victory now. Time's over. 20 match point eight. Lena Schatz using the big court. Time's over. 9.20. Still game point, Polina's got 11 to spare. And an injured looking Wen Yu Zhang, unable to keep up. Well, Han Yue awaits in the next round. Lina Kersfeld, job done today. A shame for Wen Yu Zhang. The performance was all but done. And the injury just uh, adds injury to <laughs> the result. 21-10. 21-9. Good performance from the Dane. We'll see more of her again later this week. Well, straight games it was. 21-10, 21-9. Inside 30 minutes for Lena Kersfeld. Well, it's the Olympic uh, Olympic World Championship bronze medalist from 2021 up next, Laksha Sen. He's taking on Korea's Jeon Hyuk-jin in the capable hands of Jill Clark and Steen Pedersen.